Everybody can paint on the clothes. Even if you have never painted in your life, you still are able to customize your clothes. Sounds impossible for you? Just keep watching this video. Hi everybody! This is Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And in this video I will show you how you can customize your clothes even if you have never painted in your life. It means I will show you the easiest way of painting on clothes. And especially for this video I bought two kinds of fabrics white fabric and black fabric. Let's imagine it's a white t-shirt and a black t-shirt and I will show you all the process from transferring image to the clothes to the painting and I will show you all the painting techniques. So, let's begin! So you need a cardboard to put inside of your clothes. Then you need carbon papers, one black color for the white fabric and white color for the black fabric. Now I will fix white fabric on the cardboard. And let's paint. I will paint two butterflies. If you can't paint, if you're not sure you can paint butterfly, you can find the image of the butterfly and you can print it. Then you will use this print for transferring. Now I will use black carbon paper and I will transfer my butterflies to the fabric. Let's paint. You will need fabric paints. You can watch the video about fabric paints I use. I put the link in the description. And also you will need some rag to dry your brush if it's too wet. Palette, brushes, let's begin! The first butterfly will be monarch butterfly and it's orange color so I will mix red, yellow and white colors to create beautiful orange color for the wings of the butterfly. Now I paint the body of the butterfly and I mix brown and black colors for it. Now I will wait until the orange butterfly will get dry and I will begin to paint the second butterfly and I want to make it blue color. I mix blue and white colors and for the back wings I add purple color too. Now I will paint the edges of the monarch butterfly wings and the pattern on its wings with black color and the reason why I waited until the orange color will get dry because it is very important in painting of clothes that you should allow each layer to dry other way you can have problems with washing. So if you don't want to wait you can help yourself with hair dryer or you can just paint some other part of the design or you can just rest and drink a cup of tea. The same way I add black color to the wings of the blue butterfly. And the white spots on the monarch butterfly wings and a couple of yellow spots. And now I will show you two kinds of the background. For the blue butterfly, I will create the background I love the most, directional brush strokes. And for this background, there shouldn't be so much paint on the brush and you should slightly touch the fabric. And this way uh, you will create the effect of the movement like the butterfly is flying. 
else I will splatter the paint. It is also my favorite technique. I love to splatter the paints on my designs. For the monarch butterfly I will create watercolor effect background and for this background you should mix fabric paints with a large amount of water. And now let's create design on the black fabric and I want to paint a bit more difficult design so let's paint the tiger. I will use a white carbon paper to transfer image of the tiger to the black fabric. And for the black fabric, first you need to create an undercoat and you need to create it with a white fabric paint, so just paint your image with white paint. And the same here, first you should wait until the undercoat will get dry, then you can put the second layer. I use orange and brown colors for the second layer and same I will wait until it will dry. And the third and the last layer is the tiger stripes and I will use black color for them. Let's create green background for the tiger and sh there shouldn't be so much paint on the brush and same you should slightly touch fabric and create brush strokes and else I will splatter the paint near the tiger. So here's our tiger! And if you will say now I'm not able to paint, ok, then you are able to write and you can customize your clothes with writings. I will write now freehand, but you can write first on the paper, then transfer these writings to your clothes. Also you can paint star, heart or lightning. When the undercoat gets dry, I can paint with some different colors. Writing will be red color, star gold color, heart blue color and lightning yellow color.
So here is our paintings, butterflies and tiger. Wait 24 hours, then you should iron your paintings to fix the paint. And you should iron on the reverse side. Iron for 5 minutes. Or put something fabric on your painting and iron this way. And I wasn't sure should I shoot the next step because it's a bit strange to shoot it. But since near every day I receive questions like how will I wash hand many clothing? Will the paints wash off? So let's go near the washing machine and I will show you how to wash hand many clothes and we will see together what will happen with the paintings after we wash them. Let's go! Let's look to the paintings one more time to see before and after. Uh, here is our butterflies. And uh, here is our tiger. Let's add detergent to make it like a real washing. I recommend to wash on delicate cycle, but let's run a test here and I will wash on express cycle, this cycle I use the most for the daily washing when I need just to refresh my clothes. It's about 28 minutes and 30 degrees. Then let's look to the butterflies first. Mm. Okay, they look just fine. Everything is okay. Black, these colors and spots and the background and the paint splatters. Everything is fine. Tiger looks fine too. Writings and our star and heart images. Everything fine. Paint splatters too. So that's all! And this way you can paint on all kinds of clothes. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, denim jackets, leather jackets, caps, pants, jeans. And you can create absolutely unique, beautiful clothes. For example, you can paint such butterfly on the both sides of the denim jacket and you can write on the back like something free as a butterfly of freedom. Or you can paint such tiger on the back of your jacket and write something meaningful too. Oh, this is customization is that you can buy the leather jacket and you can write something on the sleeves, on the back and your jackets will look so cool. So if you found this video useful, hit the like button and share this video with your friends so more people will be able to customize their clothes and the street fashion will turn to the art fashion. And if you are new here, subscribe to my channel, I share a lot of process videos of painting on clothes. See you, bye bye!